cents per pound and all natural pork bellies for $2.99 per pound. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Square Shopping Center just south of 84th and Van Dorn. Ooh, what a day. I could sure use an afternoon pick me up. Hold up. The new 93.7 The Ticket location has a milk, coffee, and tea inside? Oh, yeah. This is a game changer. Need an afternoon pick-me-up? How about a coffee or smoothie on your way to work? Stop by the Ticket Mill location on 1040 O Street to get your go-to drink or try out our new game day drinks exclusive to the Ticket Mill location. We know it'll make your day a mill yen times better. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a chance of rain expected throughout the day. See falling temperatures with a high around 52. Tonight, a chance of wintry mix and falling snow possible. We'll see a low around 23. And tomorrow, a slight chance of snow in the morning. Otherwise, mainly sunny and windy. High around 36. I'm meteorologist Kyle Clark for 93.7 The Ticket and the theticketfm.com. Plains Cover Crop is your one-stop seed shop. Call us now for spring and summer forages, CRP mixes, and fall cover crop blends. We do farm-specific consulting for practical and efficient seed blends to fit your geography and goals. With a very diverse inventory, we will tailor a blend just for you. We're also looking for contract growers, and we buy and sell rye. Find us online at plainscovercrop.com. Timeless agronomy practices paired with modern technology. East Highway 20 and Orchard and across Nebraska. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Underground, who has been serving local contractors and utility contractors all across the state since 1997. When you see the black and white trucks, you know the baddest dudes in the business have arrived. Bauer is currently looking for equipment operators, laborers, diesel mechanics, and aerial linemen. Join the brotherhood built on hard work, authentic people, and pedigree of success. Bauer, a family-friendly company who reminds you, go be ready. When you teach your children how to set and reach goals, you'll do more than just help them succeed in school. I'm Jenny Benson, president of the Nebraska State Education Association. Motivation and goal setting build confidence, and it's still a drive that will benefit children their entire lives. It will also help them become more positive thinkers. Working together, parents and teachers are a powerful team for student success. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association in this station. This is former Husker and NFL linebacker Jay Foreman. For years, I've suffered from degenerative problems at both of my ankles, but thanks to a thorough and thought-out plan provided by Advanced Medical Imaging, I was able to get my life back with the least amount of pain as possible. While working through multiple options, the team of physicians at Advanced Medical Imaging were there to answer any questions I had. If you're experiencing any pain at all and want to get your life back, go to amimaging.com or give them a call at 402 402- 484-6677 Advanced Medical Imaging located at 7601 Pioneers Boulevard. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Blecker and professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. Constructors is now hiring for all positions with laborers starting at $23 and up based on experience. Constructors has immediate job openings for laborers, mechanics, bridge builders, operators, and drivers. Start your new career today. Constructors offers great pay, health, dental, and vision insurance, paid time off, paid holidays, and so much more. Join the crew today and be a part of Nebraska's oldest paving company dating back to 1908. For a complete list of openings and to apply online, visit ConstructorsLincoln.com. Hi, it's Charlie Stone back with the latest update from Andy Goodyear of Honda of Lincoln. Andy, your new car selection keeps getting better and better every month. Can you tell our listeners all about it? You know, it sure is, Charlie. It's great that our customers can come in pick out a new Honda and drive away with it that day. How many new Hondas do you have in stock? Well, right now we have just about 100 in stock. Hey, I hear you've won some very important awards in your service department. Tell us about them. Well, the first one is we won the award for the first fixed award. So the cars are actually fixed on the very first time they're brought in. Second award is our customer service experience award. And then our third 
award is our Honda Express Service Elite, and we rank the best in quality and customer satisfaction. Maybe it's time you come experience the Honda of Lincoln way of doing business. 27th and Yankee Hill Road or online at HondaOfLincoln.com. Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America, this is Old School. Sponsored by the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese. Broadcasting veteran Derek Pearson. When you find something that moves them, that makes them smile, celebrate it. That's your task. That's your superpower. Nebraska Football Hall of Famer Jay Foreman. Rifles a pass. It was tipped. It's picked off by Foreman. He's at the 15. Graham, five. He'll score. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up? Happy Monday. Jay Foreman, DP. Harrison's on the one and twos. Sitting in for Austin as he's, as he's coming back from uh, Oregon covering the uh, women's uh, basketball team in the NCAA tournament. Big shout out to Austin. Good job. Great job, actually. Not good job. Uh, the old school brought to you by the Mercado, certified PMT, special ingredients to butcher shop. Two Lincoln locations, 84th and Havelock, 30th and Yankee Hill. Always say every type of meat and every type of cut, even though it's a little gloomy outside, a little chilly, a little, little, uh, real chilly, not a little chilly. Um, Potential a little bit of uh, inclement weather coming in. But, DP, one thing that's uh, definitely always warm is that uh, transfer portal. <clears throat> Three, well, potentially former Huskers are in the portal. Obviously, Romel Lloyd Jr., uh, Mr. Rice just went in. And then we had Stewart from the women's team. I want to ask you about, um, obviously, Romel. We know the, the Lloyd family and stuff like that. And... Uh, and uh, get your thoughts on on Ramel and senior and junior. Obviously, that decision, hard decision, but you know everybody always like right, it's never indicative of a of a kid like that like Ramel Junior because uh, he's first class all the way. Yeah, it, you. This is this is the business uh, and how business is being done now, and uh, the things that are spoken in private the things that are that are shared in private um there are a lot of conversations that take place between uh programs and players to get them to come to school there and there are certain expectations that are made and and promises that are made or at least um opportunities and then if those aren't met then you know folks have the right and the responsibility to make decisions accordingly and um they they both handled it um, as best as possible because he was there, he was on the bench, he was at practice, went through drills, all the, all the things, right? So he was loving basketball even when it wasn't loving him. And through whatever situation, circumstances in play, um, they'll both be fine. Ramel Lloyd and that family will be fine. <laughs> um, Harrison, you can speak on it. You've, you've spent a lot of time with that family. So mm-hmm. you know the kind of substance and quality they're good uh, that we're talking about it. <laughs> and uh, I was kind of, you know, going through it, you know, uh, you've been seeing on Reddit, you know, don't forget Lloyd's and Lincoln. People remember in that show, if you, you had the opportunity to listen uh, to Lloyd's and Lincoln, you, you know, they're a great family. And I'll say this thing, you know, he was a top 100 prospect coming out of high school. He just hasn't had that opportunity to get on the court. So, you know, I wish best. Hopefully, you know, he can just have a healthy run. I think that's all he really needs. But yeah, like he's definitely still got a great shot at playing basketball at a high level. It's just got to stay healthy for him but it makes sense you know move on um it's a business now and that's yeah. kind of what we're seeing it's no different than uh, i mean it just sucks just because i just felt like with with ramel i remember the first time seeing him in kind of like a you know the kind of the exhibition game mm-hmm. you know being a you know a lot of times kids come out of high school they say they're six six you know so you get to walk past them and he's a legit six six and he can handle he could do it all Obviously, he played at a really good high school program. Obviously, his dad done a really good job with him as well, working with him, obviously, outside of the structure of high school. You know, I think for for Ramel, and, and I can I can only just speak from a, uh, I guess, a somewhat close view, but just a, just a former athlete view, being aware of in the locker room, oh, that guy is in the portal because he's actually a bad dude, bad teammate doesn't work really wasn't that good see he doesn't fit any of those Mm -hmm. he's just like that dude's immensely talented and just had a string of in in the it wasn't like bad injuries just like wrong time 
and you know what I mean, where you can't really get your tread going. Some other guys started to kind of fill some roles. You get on a run, and then, you know, just kind of things didn't add up. I'm not privy to any of the conversations or anything like that because I wasn't involved in that and stuff. So I don't look at it as a bad thing. I'm always for, in the, especially situations like this, um, by no means I, I I can't, I can just, from my interactions with both of them, and especially his dad, they don't, they aren't the type of family go in and demand do this or else, yeah. right? They, they look first class all the way you know if there was something higher than first class they get the gold star for that as well um and and, and you never fault the kid for wanting to go and, and play and he'll have plenty of opportunities i look at it like this the, the one of the one of the cool stories of the, of the tournament is the big man from north carolina state uh dj burns mm-hmm. uh coming out of high school i was still living in, in going in charlotte quite a bit he was the number three prospect coming out of south carolina number one Oh, uh, Zion Williams. Another two was uh, what's the knucklehead from Memphis Grizzly, Grizzlies? Um, John, John Morant. And then he was three. He went to Tennessee, got hurt, right? Mm-hmm. Transferred to uh, um, what's the college in Charlotte? The small college in Charlotte. Played there for a couple years, then transferred to North Carolina State. Honorable mention All Conference, All Conference this year in his six years. So you you know, there's, there's never. You know, sometimes a winding road is is just as good as a straight road to the top. And and look at Hunter Salas, where he was out. We talked about him tons last week. You know about Gonzaga and potentially you know Mark Few, who's you know well respected on the coaching ranks, didn't use him effectively. Right now, you know, yes, Hunter Salas probably went and quote unquote got in his bag, added more stuff to his bag. That's what you do every year, right? Every off season. Every, whether it's Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, they're always finding ways to get better. It's hard for me to believe that he left, was it Spokane, Washington? Wherever Gonzaga's at, mm-hmm. and went down to <laughs> Wake Forest and then just got 15 points better just in a matter of a few months. You know what I'm saying? It's an opportunity. Somebody liking what they saw, you get the opportunity, you get to grow. Romel Lloyd, uh, this will not be the last time you hear Romel Lloyd, you know, obviously doing big things in, in uh, college basketball. So, um, you know, he'll, he'll be fine. He's, he, look, he's, he's, he's got plenty of talent. Actually, he's a guy that if I was building a program, right, mm-hmm. this is just my opinion. You know the kid's solid. So, you know, you know he's good academically. So all that stuff is solid. So it's like a a lesser risk, right, where, you know, you you're more apt to offer you know a big opportunity for him and you're like he's got tons of talent and you just kind of like well, what happened and he tells you what happened just just purely on the surface just didn't get a lot of opportunities all right well you're gonna get an opportunity here he's got a lot of eligibility left too it's not that, like that's it's a what short I'm, runway well that's what i'm saying yeah. so you could really when the marriage happens opportunity need really get there and kind of go through it together and, and you're going to see them really, really, at least in, in my opinion, really, really flourish. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I'm a member of the club that my eyes are drawn to good people in, in situations and what good people do in those situations. And if you're not managing to be outwardly forward with good people, it leaves a question. Like it, it leaves a question. Why are good people leaving your program? And it can be that it's just a better situation for them elsewhere, which leads you to look inward and go, okay, well, why is that so? Mm-hmm. Um, tell me about character. Tell me about personality. Tell me about athleticism. Tell me about skill set. Tell me about all the good people. They fit the program, all those things. Okay. But I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. Because it's it's across the board. If you said, said that about, about Eli, the same things are in place. Now, are you saying that you're making decisions, basketball decisions, and that you're telling me that you're, you've got people in play who are better suited for what you're going to do going forward than this? Okay. Or did they make the decision? Once again, it's the same questions I had two weeks ago. When there's change, why is there change? Is it for the better or for the worse? And so the curiosity is, there are a lot of times in this in this day and of, of of college athletics and business that weird decisions are being made. Like it's just weird. 
<laughs> that if the program is forward and up, right, it, it, it has advanced, it's moved forward, and you have a particular style of play that works for you until it doesn't work. Do you want to get better than you last were seen, or do you want to maintain? And all of that's fine. Those are somebody else's decisions. That's a good, that's a good young man and, and a fantastic basketball player from a fantastic family. Those are things that I can speak of in full knowledge. I can speak of Coach Hoiberg and his his and and in finality that I am Team Hoiberg. And I've taken a whole lot of crap over the four, four and a half years for saying that I believed in Fred Hoiberg and his program and Coach Lenzer long before it was cool to say that I was Team Hoiberg. As a fan of all of it, I really just want to settle into good people being a part of the program and being rewarded for it. It's that thing that Irving Fryer said, which is, Huskers should go where they're celebrated, not tolerated. <laughs> and it's a constant thing because people are making those decisions now. God bless all, everybody in it for yeah. how uh, they're getting through a very difficult situation. This is just the business that is. Yeah. Um, it's just how things are being played out. And it, it's terrible. Look, Annie Stewart is a baller. And then it becomes, okay, what's best for her and what's best for the program? And there are things that we just, you have to trust people uh, in their statements. Because the Lloyd family, the Rice family, the Stewart family, the Husker family are all making statements. I'm just trying to understand. I mean, sometimes it just doesn't work. It just, I mean, it sucks. I mean, it's, it's, it's no different if a kid is having a good, got a good situation and he wants to so-called what they call these days level up, right? You could have a good situation here, and then you jump in the portal. You see it all the time in the, with the football team. There was like a lot of guys that went in the portal was was almost guaranteed to start, and they go somewhere else. Now it does work out for guys. Like a couple guys end up going to Oregon. It does work out for them. Um, it's just unfortunate, you know. It, and it's and it's just a part of the business. That's the, that's part of the business, and and it's it goes on both ends, and that's just the way it is. It, you know. And, and it's part of also, <clears throat> it's this vacuum here in Nebraska that I keep talking about. And I know everybody just glosses over it, right? But it's, <laughs> it's your best asset and it could be your worst if you're not just laser-like focused and willing, and willing to sa sacrifice some things. Once you get success here, you can get caught up in, in the, the vacuum of really, really not looking outside of the whole landscape of where it's at. And when you do have success here and you play the way that sometimes you play here and you got good players, so you've recruited better, you recruited better, you know, guys just don't want to wait anymore. And I'm not saying the, the, and there's, every situation is different. Um, Ramel's situation is a little bit different. I feel like he just never got an opportunity. He can't really wait any longer. I, that's his totally understandable. Um, you know, Rice is a little bit different. I think, it's, you know, look, you, sometimes you you got to get, you got to, you got some holes in your game, dog. You got to, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's you, you got to, you know, you got, you got to tighten them holes up because them holes ain't going to change wherever you go. So it, it's, it's, it's just a, the landscape of college sports is just significantly different. Um, you know, that's just part of, it's just, you know, as a coach, I'm sure it's just part of the business. You just never know who's going to come in your office and be in the portal you well, just you, never know but you get that it for, for for fans who want to buy into husker basketball and you want them to buy in the actual people the huskers themselves and it's it it becomes a thing like when folks have been talking about the men's tournament that we don't know this year's roster of of, of basketball teams even the ones in the sweet 16 because we ha we just haven't had time and we don't get the full invest emotional vestige time invested otherwise not for nothing but Ramel Lloyd has done a really good job of putting himself out there for Husker fans to get to know and if you can't fight for that dude <laughs> it it's a big deal like how do you how do you ask people to continually buy in continue to buy in and start over and start over and start over regardless of circumstance yeah i mean it's tough i mean it's it's he's solid as they as they come and 
you know, those conversations that they had, and sometimes you don't, you know, the conversations aren't what you like to hear, you know, and that's just, just as crappy part about the, it's the hard thing about being a coach. You know, that's probably not the conversation that you want to have. Like, you know, you probably feel obligated, not obligated, but you feel comfortable where you're at. You're probably looking other places. You know, I've been there. I've been there where, you know, like you go in and you have a, you know, play start for two years. You got some dude up there that, that's playing in training camp because, like, his college coach went, was, went to college with the D coordinator. I'm like, this dude can't play dead. But you sometimes you got to either – I didn't have the chance to leave it in Buffalo. I would have been gone, trust me. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So you got to kind of – I had to stick it out. This day and age – as much as you 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 got to continue to stay solid. That it, there's no like right or wrong in this, especially with Ramel, because he's done everything he needed to do. Right. Um, I just feel like you just got stuck in this in that weird tidal wave. And you and the reason why I, I can I can't speak specifically about Ramel, I can speak specifically about Jermaine Johnson. That's the defensive end for the New York Jets. He went to my high school. Okay, I won't say any names. He was on a platter. To come here, not once but twice. He was in that with that coach Jason Brown or whatever down in that wasn't the Netflix show. He was he was very rare. He didn't want to be on camera. He's there, mm-hmm. so he goes to Georgia, right from JUCO. You see him walking down, legitimate six five and a half, two fifty five, can run like a gazelle. Obviously, he's a good enough player. He gets to Georgia, rotational player, doesn't start, has a decent year, does it again. Well, then next thing you know, he's getting that like gray area where you have potential, you're a good player. Well, then they're like, okay, well, now we brought in some guys that are five star recruits. So just on just being there, you get knocked down. Not saying this is a situation here. Mm. So he goes in the portal to Florida State. No prior connection, but there is a need and opportunity, right? Went to Juco, got his grades right, got his off the field stuff right, already done all the stuff he needed to do. Georgia did good by that kind of getting Mm. in the structure. Goes there, has a decent year's junior year. His last year there, pretty much unstoppable. Ends up the 11th pick. Even somebody like Jermaine Johnson, who when you see him, you're like, yeah, that dude's a football, NFL football player, got caught up in that, like, wash of in between us, right? So it happens. It, it's Can you fault Georgia? Not really. Why? Because they got all the dudes that are playing for the Eagles and, and Javon Walker, that was the number one pick, all mixed up in there. We got a guy here from Georgia that probably got caught up caught up in that little bit of that mix as well. And it worked out for him. So it just, it sucks. And uh, they'll do well. And uh, we'll take a quick break, come back, then we'll talk about the, uh, the games that were played by the two Husker teams. Thoughts, um, concerns, and, uh, you know, what went wrong and what went right at some point in time uh, to get there, obviously. But then, obviously, during the games, some things were right, um, just not right enough. Jay Foreman, DP, Harrison, uh, we'll be right back. You're listening to Old School with DP and Jay. Download the mobile app and listen wherever you are on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havelock. This week's specials through March 26th is spend $25 and receive a free 10-ounce New York strip. Limit four per visit. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations on 84th and Havelock and 30th in Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th in Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. This is Monster Jam. Witness Big Air, two-wheel skills, backflips, and all-out racing. It's the only place to see the world's best drivers tear up the dirt in your favorite Monster Jam trucks, like Grave Digger, El Toro Loco, Megalodon, and more. It's big-time fun for the whole family. Monster Jam, as big as it gets. This Friday and Saturday at Pinnacle Bank Arena, brought to you by Big 80 Tires, Great Clips, and the original Super Glue. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing a replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840.
Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career? Or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. This is a former Husker and NFL linebacker, Jay Foreman. For years, I've suffered from degenerative problems at both of my ankles. But thanks to a thorough and thought-out plan provided by Advanced Medical Imaging, I was able to get my life back with the least amount of pain as possible. While working through multiple options, the team of physicians at Advanced Medical Imaging were there to answer any questions I had. If you're experiencing any pain at all and want to get your life back, go to amimaging.com or give them a call at 402-484-6677. Advanced Medical Imaging, located at 7601 Pioneer. Boulevard. Perch Merch is your one-stop shop for all your printing and promotional needs in Lincoln, Nebraska. They specialize in screen printing, embroidery, vehicle wraps, window wraps, print collateral, promotional products, and signage. At Perch Merch, they are committed to delivering high-quality products and exceptional customer service. Their experienced team of designers and printing professionals will work with you every step of the way to ensure that your vision is realized. Call for a quote today at 402-217-5212 or go to perch-merch.com. Mosaic is a nonprofit whole person healthcare organization that embraces God's call and relentlessly pursues opportunities that empower people with diverse needs to live their best lives. Mosaic in Southeast Nebraska, serving Lincoln and Beatrice, would like to invite you to their monthly Discover the Possibilities Tour events. Events are held on the third Wednesday of every month and are a great way to understand Mosaic's mission. To RSVP, please contact Melindy at 402-429-0088 or visit mosaicinfo.org slash southeast Nebraska. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. A team succeeds when they work together. Banking's no different. At UBT, we're in your corner for every financial move you want to make. Your money's backed by a roster of experts who put in the work to know you and your community. So whether you're opening a savings account, buying a home, or planning your future, you always know who to turn to. Working together toward your financial goals, that's a win in our playbook. Union Bank and Trust, Equal Housing Lender Member FDIC. When you teach your children how to set and reach goals, you'll do more than just help them succeed in school. I'm Jenny Benson, president of the Nebraska State Education Association. Motivation and goal setting build confidence and it's still a drive that will benefit children their entire lives. It will also help them become more positive thinkers. Working together, parents and teachers are a powerful team for student success. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association in this station. Empower a child today with the Teammates Mentoring Program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the Teammates Mentoring Program today. 93.7 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a chance of rain expected throughout the day. See falling temperatures with a high around 52. Tonight, a chance of wintry mix and blowing snow possible. See a low around 23. And tomorrow, a slight chance of snow in the morning. Otherwise, mainly sunny and windy. High around 36. I'm meteorologist Kyle Clark for 93.7 Ticket and the theticketfm.com. Back to old school with DP and J on 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. What up? We're back. Jay Foreman, DP, Harrison in for Austin. We are old school, 1040 O Street. We're back. NCAA Husker NCAA talk. I had a little transfer portal talk. It's always tough. You know, college football, college basketball is, I mean, college sports is tough. Um, Still don't feel sorry for any 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 of them, but uh, I mean for the coaches because they're handsomely paid. But uh, it doesn't have to be hard. That's the part. It's it's hard. It, it's it's hard. It is hard. You're a coach. Is coaching hard? Uh, coaching itself is not hard. Okay, you being it, a man is that hard? 
no, but dealing you, with you got rules with, that work for you, right? Right, but a lot of times the <laughs> rules aren't the rules that you got aren't aren't allowed to. Uh, here's the hardest part about coaching. I always say this: hardest part is about coaching. And if I was coaching those four dudes right, walking across the street, yep, ask them to walk when the light when the when it's not the jaywalk. There's gonna be three of them. They're gonna decide to do it when they don't when they. We could practice all day long. Oh, I can go. <laughs> Two of them get hit, ran over. Guess who's held responsible? Me. That's the hardest thing about coaching. That's the hard thing, hardest thing about that. You always, you, you know. Yeah, but when you send them across the street, <laughs> yeah. I send them across the street when they're supposed to go. Yeah, like it's just like I just root so hard for good people to do good things. Like that's all I, I, here's, I know we, we wanted to go in a different direction, but quickly enough. Right. That and y'all know this story that I get calls from athletes and parents all over the country that because I'm here and around student athletes and around coaches, they will ask the question, yo, DP, what's the word on Lincoln? What's the word on, on Nebraska? Is this a good place for my son or daughter? And I have this rule. Don't ask me to lie for you. Don't ask, nobody gets to ask me to lie for them. Right. And the more somebody asks me to lie to them, lie for them, the less I'm inclined to speak for them. Does that is it does that make sense? So from a from 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 a simple standard, I had two young people who were number one in the top recruiting percentage that were interested in Nebraska. And then I get the phone call. Hey man, what's the word? Okay. Because of the fans, I can say there is not a better fan base. Because of the community, I can say there is not a better college community, right? For things that all the things that they could want are available to them. Then it becomes a matter of people and then the the the, the department itself. And that's where it gets sticky. Up until two weeks ago, I, I've been really comfortable in referring folks to the University of Nebraska over some really good programs. I felt good about it. I felt clear about it. I don't want that to change. And I'm trying, Jay Foreman, I am trying to find my way. <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously, like, I'm trying to find. I want that piece of comfort to be able to say to the number one athlete in various sports yep be a husker be a husker There's, to mom and dad they're going to take care of your baby your baby boy your baby girl they're going to take care in full and then it becomes because the next question becomes hey dp if something go left are you there to step in and the answer is always yes but to to my own demise right Harrison is in the room on a nightly basis as I introduce these young people to the, to, I reintroduce them to their parents because <laughs> the parents don't, they don't know them until they, they hear them here talking about the things that go on because that's how the parent keeps in touch. I introduce them to the community. So the community understands why this is a good Husker, why this is a good person. And then the other stuff starts to hit and they start to tell Harrison, Hey, Harrison, Man, I got this grind I'm going through. And Harrison, in his full goodness, listens. <laughs> and let me tell you how much integrity Harrison has. Harrison holds them up, and he puts them in a good spot every night. He puts these athletes in a good place, and they leave here better than they walked in the door. That's what we're here for. I just want to know who else is in it. Like, I want to know who's in it. I want to know who's got the back of the people who need, it's like a few good men. Who are you supposed to stand up for? You're not supposed to stand up for the, for the, for the, for the general, the angry general. You're supposed to stand up for the dude that needs your help. And the student athletes need the help. So I constantly battle with, <laughs> I'm here trying to enable people, elevate people. I'm rooting like hell for Nebraska. I'm I'm not even from here. <laughs> and I'm rooting for this athletic department and the people in it. 
I'm rooting for the alumni. I'm rooting for the fans. I'm rooting for the community. I invest in them. As a matter of fact, I, it, I don't like transfer portal days because it means a thing needs to change. And usually, usually, air quotes, it's not a good, it's not a positive thing that's forcing people to divorce, split, go in different directions. This is a heavy day. Like Black Black Monday, whenever coaches get fired, that's a heavy day for me. Transfer portal day, the day after somebody's season ends, exit interview days. As a coach, it was my least favorite day. If I had done, if I had gone through some stuff. If I had success, it's my best day because I get to celebrate. I get to high five, hug, well, job well done. But if it's not, and we have to separate for reasons you didn't graduate, but you're leaving. Dang. That hurts. That's where I'm at today. I apologize, bro, folks. I know you come, you folks might want happy radio. I'm I'm bothered by this. I don't know why. I yeah, don't know why. I mean, being an athlete is tough, man. I mean, it's it's everybody sees the, you know, whatever game, whatever night they play or day they play. It's tough. I mean, that's just part, it's part of being an athlete, you know. Um there's never any easy, easy day. I mean, to be frank, you know, being an athlete sucks. I mean, it really does. So, if, I mean, if. Well, that's what I'm asking. But it, like, but, that's why I need to hear from day four, right? Yeah, but that's what you sign up for. It yeah. sucks every single day. I'm just going to be bluntly honest with you. Okay, it <laughs> sucks every single day. You know what? You know what? It, when, it, when you have to decide. So, the known and the unknown. The known is that it sucks every single day. Why does it suck? You got to sacrifice, right? You got to sacrifice time, energy relationships, <clears throat> college life, all the things, everything else. You that's what that's the known that you got. If you want to be first of all, let me just back that up. If you want to be good, okay, or to be the best that you can be, you got to sacrifice. You got to be given it's it's whatever you're willing to give up. Okay. And it's not a little. So you got to give up a lot to be to give yourself the chance to be the best you can be. That's the hardest struggle for kids these days. And it sucks. You know what sucks? Working hard every day. Yep. You know what it sucks? Competing because there's no guarantee. So you either got to you either got to either embrace the suck or you got to succumb to it. It's either if you know it's going to suck, you got to you got to make the best out of it. You can't just go to practice to get through practice. You got to go to practice to get better. It's just it's always these things that you're battling, and then you got school, and you got to, you got you know personal aspirations. Maybe outside of your sport, maybe you want to be. I don't know, doctor, engineer, you know, farmer, whatever it is that you want to be. And then that's all the stuff. Then, you know, that's what you got to do. And that's, I mean, that's part of the thing about the, the first two years or being able to find a way to find your own way and battle through it. Cause when you get down the road, how you handle it is how you're going to have that confidence. You got to learn and, and, and be willing to stand on your own, not saying you don't need help. I'm not, I'm not even approaching that, yeah. but you have to be able, and you know, and that's just part of it. And that's the thing that sucks about the portal. Like you could have every, I mean, you could, everything could be great. Right. And here's a perfect example. Alvin Kamara. People don't even know this. He was at Alabama mm -hmm. in that running back room, yep. but he saw four other NFL guys. There was nothing wrong with him. Nothing wrong with the Alabama program. He walked right into Nick Saban's office. I don't want to wait. He goes to Tennessee, and we saw what he did against us, and he ran around us up and down the field. That's It just happens. It does. And the better that you get, ideally, you'd like these situations to work out for both, where you're like, okay, Alabama obviously went on and won a couple national championships since, and now with Kamara is, 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 you know, went on and, and do it. I mean, it's just part of the – there's a lot of options. You know, the funny thing about it, you talk about, you look at this tournament, you look at Oakland, you talk about how you invest in the players. Well, the smaller schools are going to get the investments because that's where those kids are going. They're going to grow up. They're going to, there's going to be a kid that goes to like a Oakland, probably say like a skinny, say 6'4", 6'5", 180 pounds. He starts to get on a meal program. He's going to mess around, be 6'8", and everybody's going to be like, okay. We missed. We, we missed. Him. We, <laughs> we missed. missed him. Well, guess what's going to happen? Okay, they're going to make a run through the summit, Missouri Valley, or just, you know, make a couple highlights, right? 
going to be his junior year. He's going to go right in that coach's office, right? And then he's got to level up. Nobody really talks about that because that's just part of the business. That's just part of the way it is right now. Um, and it sucks because when you get here, and I remember being, you know, you work so hard to get here, right? And there's celebration as you get here. Then you almost have to go all the way back to when you first started working towards this goal and start over with no guarantees. Because when you have some talent in whatever sport you're playing, you kind of know if you put in enough work that it's going to work out for you, right? Mm -hmm. um, so like you know, like football, right? I could walk, roll out of bed. No, you know, my dad was like, look, as long as you, I want you to play hard and be a good teammate. He kind of knew it. So that's the simple path that he sent for me, right? A lot of these kids that get here, that's the path that they had to have. Now, granted, some had to really work at it. And, you know, there's always. So now you have to actually go back and start over that process when you get here. But when you're in, say, like a linebacker room, you're seeing 10 other guys that are just as good as you. Yeah. And that's the hardest thing. So yeah. then it comes down to sacrifice. Yeah. So hopefully everybody. Time. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to stop. It's probably going to get worse. It's probably going to be able to transfer. I'm telling you right now, I'm calling it right now. There's going to be a time that people are going to be able to transfer during Christmas break. Well, what what's what's the number? Yeah, right. What's the number of total transfer portal out for Nebraska men's and women's basketball? What's the total number in your head? And you're it's okay to be wrong, yeah. but it's know. a vibe, Maybe, right? I don't, I don't know. Five, six total between both. Teams. I don't know. Yeah, between just the men's and women, I think we're only like five right now, right? It's three, right? Well. Other people talk. Yeah, I mean, it, but <laughs> people the, are talking. The, uh, hey, that's a that's a normal deal, though. Yeah, it it's just, and 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 again, we'll forget it all when when people commit to mm -hmm. transferring in. Yeah, in some cases, but it it it's a thing. So that happens everywhere, and that's yep. a part of it. And that sucks, yep. man. So, yep. anyways, DP J Foreman, Austin, we'll be right back. Watch Old School live on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. Old School with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Spring is on its way. Are you prepared to keep the grass greener on your side? Blades Lawn and Landscape has a position opened at a homeowner association to their client list with residential and commercial openings also. Transform your yard into a private oasis with the professional services offered by Blades Lawn and Landscape, including landscape walls and beds and a five-step fertilizer program applied by a licensed professional. Call them today at 402-730-6320 or go to bladeslcc.com to schedule a free estimate on commercial or residential lawn services. Constructors is now hiring for all positions with laborers starting at $23 and up based on experience. Constructors has immediate job openings for laborers, mechanics, bridge builders, operators, and drivers. Start your new career today. Constructors offers great pay, health, dental, and vision insurance, paid time off, paid holidays, and so much more. Join the crew today and be a part of Nebraska's oldest paving company dating back to 1908. For a complete list of openings and to apply online, visit ConstructorsLincoln.com. Hey guys, it's Bill Bush. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty has opened a new location in Pender, Nebraska, in addition to their office in Lincoln. The real estate world can be confusing, so why wouldn't you want an expert helping you every step of the way? If you're looking to buy or sell farmland in Nebraska, Kansas, or Iowa, give Ethan Sorensen a call today at 402-380-0432 or visit them online at nextagrealestate.com. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty with locations in Lincoln and now Pender, Nebraska. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havelock. This week's specials through March 26th is spend $25 and receive a free 10-ounce New York strip, limit four per visit. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations on 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl, Jordan, with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. 
Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. Ooh, what a day. I could sure use an afternoon pick-me-up. Hold up. The new 93.7 The Ticket location has a milk coffee and tea inside? Oh, yeah. This is a game changer. Need an afternoon pick-me-up? How about a coffee or smoothie on your way to work? Stop by the Ticket Mill location on 1040 O Street to get your go-to drink or try out our new game day drinks exclusive to the Ticket Mill location. We know it'll make your day a mill yen times better. A team succeeds when they work together. Banking's no different. At UBT, we're in your corner for every financial move you want to make. Your money's backed by a roster of experts who put in the work to know you and your community. So whether you're opening a savings account, buying a home, or planning your future, you always know who to turn to. Working together toward your financial goals, that's a win in our playbook. Union Bank and Trust, Equal Housing Lender Member FDIC. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a chance of rain expected throughout the day. See falling temperatures with a high around 52. Tonight, a chance of wintry mix and blow and snow possible. See a low around 23. And tomorrow, a slight chance of snow in the morning. Otherwise, mainly sunny and windy. High around 36. A meteorologist Kyle Clark for 93.7 Ticket and the theticketfm.com. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and would like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career? Or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Early break with Sip and Jake. We do not go quietly in the night on early break. Um, we don't, and we won't. <laughs> Is that our motto now? A- <laughs> Is that our new show motto? Look at that. <laughs> we let you have that moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We won't. We won't. We we don't. We and, and we, we won't. won't. <laughs> <laughs> we it's our new one. Yeah, I'm getting a t-shirt. I want but a we don't go quietly. Yeah, that's we voice been. early break with Sip and Jake from six to eight every weekday morning on ninety three seven The Ticket. Problem gambling affects millions of Americans daily of all ages and walks of life. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Back to old school with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up? Jay Foreman, Harrison, DP. Quick segment before we get back on schedule, top of the hour. Um... Good talks there. Sometimes, I mean, look, man, it's a hard day. It's the way it's always going to be. It's only going to be worse. I am calling it here on, uh, was it March 25th? Mm-hmm. March 25th. There yep. will be a day in time. I don't know where hey, we Greg. all be that they, you will be able to transfer mid-year. Hey, Greg. Because Greg on the text year. line, wild and out. <laughs> <laughs> Greg. Greg. Greg chose chaos on a Monday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Greg Dang, oh, that listen, I don't know if you can read it, but I I'm just wow. Bruh. <laughs> Harrison, am I wrong? No, Greg chose violence, but <laughs> I've received it. Well, 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 well received, Greg. <laughs> and, and they feeding y'all down in Myrtle Beach. What is that? <laughs> Oh, he's in Myrtle Beach too. That's an opinion uh, out from afar. Oh man, <laughs> Dang, Greg. 
Dang. There's some, there's, there's some <laughs> truth there. This is about a little, you always <laughs> shot your skis there. <laughs> I, I just appreciate that when you go full, like, like yeah, just did, go yeah. full rager. <laughs> just, okay, Greg. Look, man, you family today. I, you said what you said. I ain't got any, I ain't even got to agree with it. <laughs> I just appreciate the fact that he was thoughtful, purposeful, and it was on his own. Like he ain't target none of us. He mm-hmm. was just like, uh, here's the thing. Let me go make a play real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go make a play. Let me go make a play. Nah. Like Jay, he, he, he wasn't even, uh, he had touched like, the ball. Right. He wouldn't, he wouldn't stole it, scored a touchdown, spiked it, and walked into the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was out of he was out of, off the top rope. I oh. mean, but I mean, in reality, all jokes aside, I mean, that's just a, that's just called Greg. That is called business one on one. If you get in that position, I hope you do that the same way. Same Woo. way. That's what you need to, need to do. So, um, oh. the business of college football is ever changing. Once they become employees, there will be people that are being act, actively transferred at the quarter or semester break. That's a good point. They're, that's happening more and more too. We're seeing. So that. yeah. So. You heard it here first. So we batting down the hatches. If you and your feelings about today, boy, trust me, you get, get Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas and everything. Spring break, you will be you will be sprung. Trust yeah. me. Uh, yeah, you will be you will be getting transferred. It, it, listen, you when people people get up in arms when there's baseball, when a guy get traded from one dugout to another, don't think it ain't gonna happen here in ten to fifteen years in college football, uh, or basketball or any sport after that. So Anyways, good first hour. Jay Foreman, DP Harrison. We're going to jump back into this NCAA tournament. Dang. Then also we're going to talk a little uh, Deion Sanders, man. trying to be He's trying to be the first uh, family with pigmentation at, to uh, be at either J- the Elway family or Manning family. See if he can pull it off or not. There's a big factor that's going to decide whether he's going to do it or not. And I'll tell you guys what, what, what the factor is. Top of the hour, Jay Foreman, DP Harrison in for Austin. Old school. We'll be right back. You're listening to Old School with DP and J. Download the mobile app and listen wherever you are on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM for 93.7 The Ticket. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havelock. This week's specials through March 26th is spend $25 and receive a free 10-ounce New York strip, limit four per visit. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations on 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. This is Monster Jam. Witness Big Air. Two wheel skills, backflips, and all out racing. It's the only place to see the world's best drivers tear up the dirt in your favorite Monster Jam trucks like Grave Digger, El Toro Loco, Megalodon, and more. It's big time fun for the whole family. Monster Jam, as big as it gets. This Friday and Saturday at Pinnacle Bank Arena, brought to you by Big 80 Tires, Great Clips, and the Original Super Glue. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl Jordan with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. 93.7 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. You don't think about your roof very often, but you should never take it for granted. Roofing Service Company takes every measure to provide you with the highest quality roofing solution. Whether it's a new roof installation, roof repair, or a re-roofing project, their overall goal is to provide you with a pleasant experience and a long-lasting roof. If you have a need for siding or gutters, they're your place too. Visit RoofingServiceCompany.com for more info today.
NIPCO is hiring CDL drivers for ready mixed concrete, Husker concrete, and Beatrice concrete. NEBCO offers great pay, medical and retirement benefits, paid time off, and they pay for CDL training. Apply today and start your new career with a $2,500 hiring bonus. From NEBCO's beginning in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit NEBCOinc.com. That's N-E-B-C-O-I-N-C.com. Mosaic is a nonprofit whole person healthcare organization that embraces God's call and relentlessly pursues opportunities that empower people with diverse needs to live their best lives. Mosaic in Southeast Nebraska, serving Lincoln and Beatrice, would like to invite you to their monthly Discover the Possibilities Tour events. Events are held on the third Wednesday of every month and are a great way to understand Mosaic's mission. To RSVP, please contact Melindy at 402-429-0088 or visit mosaicinfo.org slash Southeast Nebraska. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing a replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. You never think cancer will happen to you. I smoked for over 40 years. My doctor recommended that I get annual lung cancer screening. They were able to catch my cancer at stage one. It's never too late to quit. Even if you're still smoking, you need to ask your doctor about annual lung cancer screening. Just 30 minutes a year could save your life. Call the Nebraska Tobacco Quit Line. 1-800-QUIT-NOW. 1-800-784-8669. Paid for by Tobacco Free Nebraska. Aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. On the block with Strick and Austin. Now to tie it back to Nebraska men's basketball, this group has a chance to do something that hasn't been done before. Yeah. You know, in making a run in the Big Ten tournament, a serious run, in winning the first NCAA tournament game, but they're not going to get there by doing the same things they've always done. It is on this team to step up and change that narrative. It won't change on its well, own. Teams won't play over for you, and that's the mindset well, shift we haven't consistently seen yet. Weekdays from 2 to 4 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America. This is Old School. Sponsored by the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese. Broadcasting veteran Derek Pearson. When you find something that moves them, that makes them smile, celebrate it. That's your task. That's your superpower. Nebraska Football Hall of Famer, Jay Foreman. Rifles a pass. It was tipped. It's picked off by Foreman. He's at the 15, 10, 5. He'll score! On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up? We're back. 5 o'clock hour. Jay Foreman, DP Harrison is sitting in today. We are old school. Brought to you by the Mercado. Certified P. Monte, Special ingredients of Butcher Shop. 84th and Havelock, 30th and Yankee Hill, uh, two Lincoln locations. I never got my goodie back. From where? The Mercado? Yeah, remember he said he, he brought... He brought... It's in the back, in the freezer. Yeah. Dog, there is pounds of meat. <laughs> if you did not get a goodie bag, <laughs> no, he, so you, better, he, you, better, you better start checking the people that, that, that are here during the day. When he bought the jerky, the next, he said, I'm coming back to bring you... Oh, well, we've been out at Wings and Rings. Okay. He only he only gets like a couple days off, I think, like a okay. month or something. All right. Um, All right. anyways, <clears throat> pivot from the uh, NCAA. We'll catch that at the end of the hour. Um, Deion Sanders made a statement about Travis Hunter, which is obviously you know he's very close to. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know it's a personal relationship, and obviously that's why you know he's he's chosen to follow him up to Colorado, and his son. Um, you know. In a in a roundabout way, saying that he would he's going to try to dictate where they're taken in the draft, kind of a la more 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 the the Manning family when it had to deal with Eli, and uh, understandably so. You got to think where where Dion has the experience of obviously being in the NFL, being a Hall of Famer, and then obviously being in the media for essentially ever since he you know finished playing. 
he knows the ins and outs of, of the certain ownership groups and teams and what what it could what it can and can't do for your career and you know the difference i would say the difference between for for some players of having an okay career versus a you know good career to great is where they're drafted and who drafts them and and all that stuff and just like we talked about the transfer portal or Vermel or anybody like that, you got to get a good opportunity. So um, it's totally understandable. But the, the the biggest sticking point for both the players, what they have to do is make sure that they play well enough to be drafted at that at enough at a high enough spot potentially supply and demand uh, withstanding that they can dictate to where they where they go. Um, but it's a it's a good opportunity to show players when you have good mentorship, leadership, agent, or you know somebody that can advise mm-hmm. you in this process that's not affiliated maybe with your school or you, you know or just somebody that has no you know skin in the game. Now Dion has skin in the game because it's his son. He doesn't need anything from his son, obviously financial or anything like that. He wants the best for him. Travis Hunter as well. So you know it it, it could be a trend, but you have to be able to be the type of player as a trend. I could not do that, right? I was late, you know, draft pick. When you go first round or somewhere like that, you want to make sure that you get in the best place possible to um, further your career. Um, You're seeing it, you know, case in point, Justin Fields. Chicago Bears did a terrible thing, a terrible uh, job of managing him and putting him, putting the best foot forward to see what type of quarterback they got. Mac Jones with the greatest, you know, you could argue the Patriots didn't do the best of their job. Now, I think Mac Jones had a lot to do do with himself, Mm -hmm. but we've seen it over and over and over. I was down in Houston with David Carr. Um, You know, we had the probably the maybe one of the worst NFL lines in NFL history with a rookie quarterback that came from Fresno State. Now, now eventually we, you know, we drafted Andre Johnson, who ended up being a Hall of Fame uh, wide receiver. We had Dominic Davis, who was a dominant running back, but then he had um, a a degenerative knee issue. So then you lose some running back, and then Arian Foster and those guys came. But you got to think that's your eight nine in David Carr's career. the The battle wounds and the PTSD is already built into his quarterback DNA. Mm-hmm. Versus, if you look at a perfect way to manage a quarterback, right? Draft Peyton Manning to the Colts. Everything's about him. Who does Peyton Manning have his first year? Marshall Falk who was essentially like a quarterback on, on the field. He taught him blitz pickup. He, he righted the wrong when Peyton maybe wasn't making the right checks. Marvin Harrison and um, Ken Dilger, who was a really good tight end. And then they obviously had Marcus Pollard and Dallas Clark and all those guys. Mm-hmm. And then they continued to add pieces built around their quarterback. Got better at the offensive line when they struggled a little bit. But they started with T- Tariq Glenn. Then they hit Jeff Saturday, and they did a really good job of scouting them. And then they started to get certain pieces around them. What else they do? Trade Marshall Falk, draft Edger and James. Out goes one Hall of Famer, in comes the next. That's how you manage your career. That's how you end up having one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Um, and you see it all the time for, you could look at it, even with the Patriots and, and uh, Brady. You know, they kind of stair-stepped his progress, and then once he was ready to take off, then he was well off. Um Mahomes, Alex Smith, Mahomes, Alex you go to Smith. the Green yeah. Bay Packers. They're right. putting out a blueprint on exactly what you're talking about. There's teams that do it right, and then I understand where Dion's coming from. And so, you know, as long as you, you know, your, your son and Travis Hunter, you know, who you, you know, look what the one thing that you can say, look, you can say whatever you want about his kid. Now, look, if it was my son, I probably wouldn't want you to be wearing a Rolex before the game because we're gonna keep that in house. <laughs> we're gonna make sure we get that as a collector's item. Being able to be pinpoint accurate with the football is a lost art. He can play the position. So you can, you know, you can have whatever, you can say whatever you want about his dad. You can say whatever you want about, he has too many endorsements. His dad has done a really good job of showing him the business side and taking him along as everybody else. There's no different than Archie Manning did with all his sons. There's no different than Peyton Manning is going to do with his sons. You know, Eli is just the way it goes, right? Mm-hmm. Um, he can th- he can play the quarterback position, man. And that's, that's one thing he's been blessed to do. Uh, he's mm-hmm. been you know, taught well, he has a good mindset for it. And Travis Hunter is a generational maybe talent where he can play both ways at the next level. Um, I mean, I mean, there's a lot that has to be done in order to do it, but with this day and age of social media and stuff like that, you're able to control your destiny a lot more than when I played and more power to them. Um, you got to, you know, put up or shut up, but you know, they've done a good job of that so far. 
And a lot depends on how good Colorado plays this year. They can play as good as they want besides when they play us. And, you know, you wish them all the luck because you want to see guys to be able in this day and age, right? There's no loyalty. We're talking about it right now on a college level. There's no loyalty in high school, right? We talked about it when with state high school championships. There's no loyalty in professional sports. So with that being said, you got to make sure that, you know, these guys are in a great opportunity to take advantage of the, of the opportunity that they have. And, and, and if you have good examples of it, even if you don't fully agree with it, um, you want them to be able to, uh, you know, get the fruits of their labor. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, more power to him trying to do it. And I, I do understand where he's coming from, especially, especially at the quarterback position. That is huge. That is huge. It, it's it's for the, part of the reason why Russell Wilson is able to go to Pittsburgh after having a rocky time in a year and a half in Denver, two seasons, a year and a half is because the way that his career was fostered in Seattle early that led him to Hall of Fame career, you're able to go to Pittsburgh. And now Pittsburgh is pretty much hoping that you revitalize your career along with revital, uh, revitalize Justin Fields' career as well. So, I mean, that's just the way it goes. Yeah, like I still, a lot of people still can't figure out is Bryce Young good or bad, or is it just the Carolina Panthers? Like, that's what you're talking about, that situation. He's wasting a lot of his early years while he has potential to. I don't care who you put on that route. You can put Patrick Mahomes. That team's going to struggle. Did they you just, get, they don't did, have weapons. Did you get see the survey of agents, uh, agents who were talking about ranking NFL teams on their ability or inability to draft? And they went back and they said, okay, 30 years. 30 years. Let's go. Let, okay, so there's there's room for wiggle mm-hmm. in 30 years. You can have a good stretch, but at some point you have to do some things right. Who do you think ranked last as the worst? I, I, I'll, I'll say, give me the three worst three worst drafting teams. And there, there there's a whole lot of rules to it, right? Uh, like, did you get uh, starters, first team All Pros, second team All Pros, Super Bowl wins? Those are like things that you can measure mm-hmm. who do you think are the worst jets got to be in there because they're drafting quarterbacks that's one of the toughest things to the predict. jets are yeah, the bears. bears might be in there too the jets are 27th out of 32 out of 32 that was right on par with them. okay where are the bears at the bears are 25th that's because they hit it out of the park they, with Lance Briggs. Well, that, get, that, like, right? the defensive guys. That mm-hmm. saved them. That yeah. saved them. But they have, in the last, you're talking about no first-team All-Pros, no second-team All-Pros, and no Super Bowl-winning players who won, Bear, again, the Bears haven't won in that 30 years. So you're, you're really kind of. It's Panthers. Arizona, Arizona, and, 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 and that Justin Fields is the best pick that they've had mm-hmm. in 30 years. Is Arizona in there? Arizona. Arizona is, in fact, in there. <laughs> you know, you Arizona, know. right? Like Because this is the thing, and people don't understand. Arizona's 31. And here's the problem, because back in the day, Arizona was the the NFL version of the Montreal Expos. They would draft Hall of Fame players, said, you know what? You're really, really good. I don't want to pay you. But guess what, Simeon Rice? Go to Tampa and go be a Hall of Famer. And all these other guys, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's, you know, you could say, you know, sometimes it's the ownership thing. I just sometimes I think the draft is tricky. Um you know, uh, because you got guys that get drafted that you just get just get a rash of injuries, right? Mm-hmm. You can't get, you know, you can't get out of the starting blocks. Then you have to sit there and wait. Okay, here's a perfect example. Kyle Vandenbosch, right? Durable player when he was here. Really, really good player when he was here. Just had a bunch of unfortunate I- injuries in his first four years with the Cardinals. Mm-hmm. So guess what they said? Oh, you're injury prone. You can't play anymore. But when he played, he was productive. Well, then he has to gamble, right? Jeff Fisher and Tennessee Titans gambled, right? And I think their defense, one of their their coach came was there, so he knew he knew the player. This does not happen a lot. Kyle Vandenbosch goes there. Rest is history. All pro, Pro Bowl, big contract. Go to goes to Detroit, big contract. Ends up having a really good career. There's a ton of Kyle Vandenboshes out there that don't get that real opportunity. And that's why the draft is really, it, that's just a small part. Then you get guys that are, you might, and I know the Raiders has got to be the one of the worst because they always pick the fastest guy and the guy who could throw the Text farthest. Text line's been screaming Raiders. Right. 
So they'll, they'll, they'll go pick Jamarcus Russell to be the, the leader of their team. And this is nothing against Jamarcus Russell, right? Because I think you don't have, again, like I said about David Carr, you don't have people around him to either show him how to be a pro or support, support him to be a pro. So he, I think he, start, he was, a, he was a, like a part-time starter at LSU, I think, right? Because they lost two games and still won a national championship. Mm -hmm. But how he got drafted, the Raiders went down there. Because he has a cannon for an arm. Probably still can throw it from here to like 40th and O Street, right? So he threw something like 75 yards from his knees. Al Davis is like, oh, well, you're the quarterback of my future. So here's what you do. You take a guy that doesn't have a lot of starting experience, might doesn't have, maybe doesn't have the work ethic, obviously, or the struck. These are just kind of the things you need, right, to be successful. And they say, here's a boatload of money. And then you go to the Raiders of all places. Where, where <laughs> you where, think it's perfect. Hold like, on. <laughs> then, you, listen, then you go to the Raiders of all places where practice is optional. Yeah, like you like, think. Like, oh like, like if you just decided, like I've heard stories where you decide, you know what? Hey, coach, I ain't going to do it. I'll see you on Sunday. I took a personal day. <laughs> right. <laughs> like 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 just that type of stuff. <laughs> and then here you are trying to lead a franchise, <laughs> right? So you go from tremendous structure to say at LSU with mm -hmm. say Nick Saban, whoever is there, that you know, structure to no structure, a ton of money, and you don't have any experience. Versus the draft really works out with. I watched Tom Brady in college. I was like, there's no way he goes past the third round. Somehow he gets to the sixth round, right? So then he goes from Michigan, chip on his shoulder, tremendous amount of structure, sits behind Drew, Drew Bledsoe, gets his opportunity. And they have the whole gamut. So for him to be successful, he starts to mature. He's the greatest quarterback of all time. But they, so here's the thing. But though. the Raiders do Raiders things. Right, right. Okay. Like people know, like imagine, again, the, the people who are paid to manage talent that's in the league and going into the league, right? That they have had these conversations and they confirm these conversations with the Players Association, because the Players Association needs to understand that, listen, not all of these things are equal. Not all of these teams are equal. So if you get drafted, you could be drafted number one by Team A, and it could be a 67% success rate for that pick to work, for you drafted by that team and that position for it to work. Then there are others, the very same player, if drafted to a list of seven teams, the likelihood that they not only fail at, yeah. in that at, with, at that team, that they are the rest of their career is hindered by the oh, fact yeah. that they get muddied by this. So here are the bottom. Well, I'll tell you, the Raiders are twenty first. Dang, twenty first. They, they, they must got. They must like somebody. Over well, there. Max Crosby Bro. and Josh Jacobs. Oh, this is yeah. the last fix a lot, right? Yeah, fix a lot, right? Yeah. Then the Atlanta Falcons. Thank you, Kyle Pitts and AJ Terrell for keeping them out of the bottom of the pit, <laughs> right? Then you have the New York football giants. Thank you, Dexter Lawrence, Saquon Barkley, uh, and uh, et cetera. Then it's the Washington Commanders. Thank you, Terry McLaurin, Sweat Pain. But again, if you measure that again a year later, that, Donna, that number goes gone. way down yeah. because they're gone other than Terry Lawrence. Uh, okay, so there. 25, the Bears. Now, again, if you're in, if you're in the top eight picks, you're in that lottery space for football. <laughs> that you're going to get picked by one of these teams, likely picked by one of these teams. And in some cases, two of the top 10 players will be drafted by one of these teams. So here's like, so of course they're saying, hey, bro, nah, don't draft me. Bears at 25. Again, Justin Fields being the best. You don't want a Chicago dog? You no. Don't want, you, you don't want to have a Chicago dog? The <laughs> Broncos are behind the, the – the Broncos are behind the Bears. Again, Patrick Sertan, Jerry Judy – Cortland Sutton, then the Jets again, who not really. I mean, Sauce Gardner and Williams giving you. You shouldn't even get credit for them right now, right? Like that's the part, right? Again, you shouldn't. It, they even got their second contract. Right. You, you shouldn't even be giving them credit. The Jets Carolina is always last. Carolina Panthers again. That J.C. Horn, Dante Jackson, Brian Burns, all like deuces. Like mm -hmm. we like. Let me find a way. The Texans. Thank goodness for their last pick because it keeps them out of the bottom. Otherwise, they're the worst. 30. Ready for this? Detroit Lions. That without Aiden Hutchins, you have to go back. It's a horrible drafting organization. <laughs> horrible. The Cardinals are 31, and that's with Kyler Murray, Simmons, Rondale Moore, et cetera. They're still next to last. 
Who do you think the worst? Again, if your son, if you're Dion or anybody who has a player going to the draft, the team that you hope, you will drop to a knee and pray that this team does not pick your athlete because the here's the thing. They have, <laughs> holy cow. Oh, this is bad. They have one point. Like, this is a group that, again, if they don't get to the wild card by, they are running at zero at all of the measurables. San Fran? Jacksonville. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That without yeah, Trevor yeah. Lawrence and ETN, you're yeah. talking and then the, them making it to the first and round. Josh Allen and, and right. Yeah. That it's so listen, the the players union knows, the agents know, and as a matter of statement, the league knows that. There are certain places that we should be pretty – think about it. If you have those three players from, from Colorado coming into the league, you want them in a showcase, not a seller. Yeah. 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 You want them they to go – They should give you extra money to go to Jacksonville. That part! <laughs> they, what they call it, the Jacksonville tax? Right, so, <laughs> right, right, Jay? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, if I'm going to the Jets to play quarterback, I need – hey, I need, I need pre-existing injuries. <laughs> Right. right. So if you compensation. So Jay Foreman Jr., Jay would be at on the phone. Hey, listen, man. Uh you y'all can't take me junior. Uh first of all, I'm not yeah. living there. Second of all, I'm not I'm not trying to fight your coaches every day. Yeah, well, especially if you like you said, if you have players that can, you know, it's a supply and demand. You play good. Um, as much as as flamboyant as as you know, Dion's perceived to be, he's a really good businessman. But I also know that you know for a fact for a fact he has a ton of respect in the NFL. You might not like his delivery, right? But he is he's on point majority of the time. Um, you know, so I, I just it, it's it's pretty it'll be pretty interesting to see. Um, and I, you know, the good thing for him, I think when those when those those three, just in, in particular his son and Travis Hunter, get to the league. You know what's going to be football is going to become a lot easier for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because college is different. Where everybody that's in college, the fans, the opposing fans, they just want you to fail and they just look for anything that you say or do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like they're like ravages. Where in the NFL is like, if you're good, they're fine with it. They don't care what you do because you can see the way these guys come and show up to games. Some of Cam Newton looks like my grandma. <laughs> hey, hey, they do not care. Long as they want you to do is get in the end zone or do whatever, so they just got to get there, and then you know they got to put up the best position for them, and that's smart on their point. And to DP's point, here's the thing: is if you look at it right, Willie McGinnis is different, but he's not because I think w Willie McGinnis gotten some, he's got it into some legal trouble. But just bear with me here: him and Mike Vrabel, right? Both of them played at the Patriots, played. Both of them, I think, probably Harrison played 15 years. Both of them really good players. I think Willie McGinnis might lead, has the NFL record for the most sacks in the playoffs. Vrabel played every position possible. Defensive line, tight end, outside linebacker, inside linebacker, special teams, right? So at the end of their career, where does Vrabel go? To the Chiefs, right? Kind of locker room guy. Ends up playing well. I mean, don't, 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 make, me, don't, don't make it out to think like he's scrub. Willie McGinnis goes where? With Romeo Cornell to Cleveland. Why? They're at the end of their career. They're trusted, and they come from the Patriots, so they get like a four-year golden package, gold, golden parachute package, right? Now let's fast forward to coaching. How does Rabel? What does he do? Kind of fast track up the rightfully so. So I'm not. Th th this is just reality. So mm -hmm. rightfully so, up fast track ends up should be a head, NFL head coach, right? What does Willie McGinnis do? Right, good looking brother out in L.A. They started an NFL network out in L.A was big time on TV until he had a personal mishap. That's how it, that's, so, but on the flip side, if Willie McGinnis ended up getting drafted by Philly, okay, by, I don't know who would be, or, or not by Philly, but by the Cardinals. I don't know who the, who the coach was at that time. I guarantee you don't hear about Willie McGinnis right now. And if Rabel went to the Raiders, right? Same player, same situation you don't hear from him. Like it, it, goes. It, it is, mm -hmm. it is so important. It's well, huge. Like we were talking about, we were talking, to, we were talking about about this with Farley, and I said, Farley, if you could have chosen who you were going to play for, you would have certainly chosen somebody who would use you the way that you're you had success.
Oh, you're talking about the NFL? Yeah. Yeah. He would have needed, he would have needed a a Chicago Bears. Farley would have been really good. He would have been really good. You know what Farley would have been really (laughs) good is he would have been really good. uh, Everything was standing for like Greg Williams. Yeah. Yep. I'm telling you. Great special teams player. Because you want to know, you know who Greg Williams had? He had Blaine Bishop Mm -hmm. from Ball State. Same player, Mm -hmm. but Farley was faster. And that's the well. It's just no he would have been he'd have been a mini Wilbur Marshall if they had been if he had been used where you allow Wilbur to just jump in coverage and blitz off the corner. You would have. I I can't. I give Buddy Ryan credit for that because he could have misused Wilbur Marshall. Yeah, he could have. He tried to probably make him a defensive end or something. Right, and yeah. Farley, if you had just put him out there and said like Monty Coleman, he could have been misused in yeah. so many teams that he'd have never got on the field. Superman was sitting on the sideline with his cape on. Always, always, it all, <laughs> it always buffoon. It always baffles me that these. The, okay, we just had Nebraska Pro Day last week. Mm-hmm. So just say, uh, you know, when I played, we we ran a four three or four man front. So then you'll go and watch these guys at a four man. So we played four four or five years in a four man front. That's the tip tape you're evaluating people on, right? I have perfect experience with this when I was in the scouting with Houston. And then you'd like spend all this time. And then you're like, Oh, we're going to, you know what? We're going to take a dude that he was a three technique. And maybe you could play outside linebacker. Listen, that's not happening. And here and you want to know what's funny is because I was doing some stuff with Houston and we went up to watch JJ Watt. And so at teams and JJ was a phenomenal athlete. I didn't really realize how big and fast he was just because, you know, didn't really know. So he did the D-line drills and he kind of he just blew through everything, right? So everybody, so he was great. He wanted to do some, some teams had him up there, was working him out at linebacker. He was 280 pounds. Now he could drop and knew how to do it and he could karaoke and get out there to the flat. I remember sitting in this big old room with Wade Phillips as D coordinator. They're talking about can he play outside linebacker and all this other stuff, right? Is he good enough? Is he going to be able to rush the pass? And Wade Phillips, and Wade never, he cursed, but never really got to, Wade's like flatline. And if he probably had his, you know, hat, he would have threw his hat down. And he was like, gosh darn it. He might be the best thing since like Howie Long. We got a draft. <laughs> I mean, in the Southern draw and Wade, Wade's voice didn't get even close to where I was. And the next thing you know, and he's like, I'll put my career on it. Now, granted, you can need a coach that's willing to do that in order now the rest is history. So you got a lot of people out there trying to reinvent the wheel. And some guys can make the transition to like Willie McGinnis was a DN in college, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Just so happened, Bill Parcells had a little bit of experience of coaching a guy that, like that went from DN to outside linebacker by the name of Lawrence Taylor. So I trust Bill Parcells being what he's thinking. Very rarely does it work out. And that's what the draft is about. So hopefully it works out for Dion and everybody else involved and any other players that are moving on in the forward. So anyways, we're going to take a quick break, come back, uh, give our NCAA thoughts as we get into the Sweet 16. Is it UConn against the field or who could upset UConn? Or better yet, what will it take to uh, knock off the defending champions that look pretty good right now? Jay Foreman, DP Harrison, we'll be right back. Watch Old School Live on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. Old School with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Hi, folks. Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC, and the Chevrolet and GMC Truck Month is now underway. We've got huge savings in Louisville. Get 9000 off or 1.9% for 72 months on select models. Yes, you heard right. That's 9000 off or 1.9% for 72 months happening right now at Couple. So take that short money saving drive down 144th Street or check us out online at couplecars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with proof credit stock number G214773. Problem gambling affects millions of Americans daily of all ages and walks of life. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. If you want to make new floor shopping easier, come to Street Carpet. Hi, I'm Steve Carper. Our flooring professionals can help you choose the best flooring for you, your family, and your budget. We eliminate the confusion. 
even better. You'll be enjoying your new flooring much sooner. No six or eight week waits. We'll install right away and save you money on installation. Floor shopping made easy every day at O Street Carpet. O Street Carpet. 1732 O Street. Family owned and operated. Always the best value. You don't think about your roof very often, but you should never take it for granted. Roofing Service Company takes every measure to provide you with the highest quality roofing solution. Whether it's a new roof installation, roof repair, or a re-roofing project, their overall goal is to provide you with a pleasant experience and a long-lasting roof. If you have a need for siding or gutters, they're your place to. Visit RoofingServiceCompany.com for more info today. You're spending $300 a month. Binge drinking is the most common form of excessive drinking, which costs the United States more than $191 billion each year. By drinking less, you will save $300 a month. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that person first person weekday mornings at 7 30 you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from bagels and joe all you have to do is shut up simple two questions for you two for sip win and the bagels are yours lose well you don't want to lose you lost monday you lost wednesday you're a loser shut up simple weekday mornings at 7 30 brought to you by bagels and joe garage doors can be expensive are you keeping yours in the best condition possible this is cameron hall with doors plus doors plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast reliable and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402-590-5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors and more. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a chance of rain expected throughout the day. The falling temperatures with a high around 52. Tonight, a chance of wintry mix and falling snow possible. The seal low around 23. And tomorrow, a slight chance of snow in the morning. Otherwise, mainly sunny and windy. High around 36. I'm meteorologist Kyle Cluck for 93.7 The Ticket and the theticketfm.com. Empower a child today with the Teammates Mentoring Program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the Teammates Mentoring Program today. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves. And we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Back to Old School with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. We're back. Jay Foreman, DP, Harrison, NCAA, Sweet 16. It was a good weekend, man. I think last night was uh, that game with Houston and Texas A&M. Boy, that was a that was fun to watch. 
There's some really good games that we talked about in the in the uh, crossover with Strick about Colorado and and you know how well they've gelled and they have a Lincoln Southeast grad and uh, Bangod Dak that we you know me and Nick were able to call a few of his games. Big shout out to him because BDs came a long way this time last year. He did not have the Colorado offer, so for the kids out there still trying to get in where you fit in, there still is time. But uh, Sweet 16 is set. Uh, I asked you guys before break, um, is it UConn against the field? And if you think it's UConn or bust, or if you think somebody in the field, uh, you know, obviously they could lose <laughs> the next game, but it doesn't look like they are. Yeah, the high seed's what, 11 seed? Yeah. Um, in there. Who do you think, who do you think can knock off UConn? And what do you think they, they need to do? Because UConn looks like if we're like, like the last two, last year and this year they look like a team that just doesn't have a glaring weakness. I would say Purdue, Purdue scares me. They're going to drag Zach Eady out on the perimeter all day, and then that's going to try to nullify him. I'd say Houston too, but yeah, but Zach they got will, a better chance at center. Eady will think. put their bigs on the bench with fouls. That's true. That is a good point. He, he, He's good. They, at that. They, the way they defend, or the way they have defended in the first two games, is not good for Purdue. Now there is some adjustment that could happen. It when they play Purdue, but that's late in the game. That's Final Four championship situation. First roadblock, real roadblock for them is Illinois because Illinois has no fear of them. And Illinois' style of play is a problem for UConn. The teams that have given UConn difficulty, they have an elite scorer who simply refuses to accept that I need to settle for, for shots. Mm -hmm. He's a finisher. First, and then their length. Illinois' length will give UConn trouble because it takes them out of their comfortable sequence of passing. Mm -hmm. They're really good at passing when they can get the entry pass into the middle and then have, have the triangle work around them. It doesn't work with Illinois because Illinois doesn't respect it. <laughs> they will play them. They apex everything. They play the, the mid-level passing game. They're going to – there'll be plus five turnovers against Illinois as opposed to anybody else. Purdue, I, I've said all along that Zach Eady is the X factor in this thing. You got a big. If he stays out of foul trouble the rest of the way, Purdue's going to finish. Like there, there, there's nothing. If he doesn't get in foul trouble, Purdue's a tough out. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. a tough out. And then what we saw last night is that Houston has a lot of answers. Houston has a lot of answers. They gave up 20 free throws in that first half, and they're still leading it. I was insane. Yeah. Well, they're so. First of all, they're all dogs. I love the fact yeah. that they just attack everything. And it, they're reckless about it. Like, it's like, you know what? We play hard. So even in situations where not playing hard would benefit them and make the win easier, they continue to play hard. Like, it's yeah. don't run through the wall. Oh, I need to get like you. You they see, the, five players, fall. right? I think yes, right. Yeah. <laughs> and still won. <laughs> That's like, the best part. <laughs> I was saying it was yeah, incredible. They, pulled, they, they stayed on they, top. They pulled away in overtime. I think he had, he was Calvin Sampson was uh, or he was talking about or Coach Sampson was talking about at halftime that they had a guy that hadn't started playing basketball until he's fifteen, and he was like, "We got to throw him in the game. We got we're bringing <laughs> we got to do everything." For me, I like DP's pick of Illinois as, as being the first roadblock, but I don't think I don't think Illinois has enough balance inside out on a consistent basis. Uh, Hawkins, and when I saw them play against Penn State, under pressure, seems to tap out a little bit. When he's down, is he's when down. I struck. Like, right. he, he, he emotionally, out, he's Yeah, when out. he's checked out, he is definitely early checkout. Yeah. Um, but I think, I, I think this, the East and the West, th this is going to be, this is a national championship side because Illinois might be the first roadblock. Okay, say they get through that. Well, then you most likely are either going to have to face North Carolina, Alabama, Cle or Clemson, or Arizona. All four of them have a little bit of things that can give UConn trouble. North Carolina is your biggest threat because they have the most depth. They mm -hmm. have the most size. They have the length that DP talked about. And then they they can run their big, UConn's big man into the ground. They, they have not seen the type of speed because from play one to the end of the, the end of the game, that North Carolina can give it. The other one is Arizona. And here's where Arizona is dangerous. When, when love gets going and with their inside force and the way that they play D and they're able to share the ball and have to, the guard play, that's where you could give UConn some, some trouble. I like on this other side, 
I like Purdue or Tennessee getting to the championship. Mm-hmm. I, I, I like Tennessee because I feel like they have the kryptonite in, in the defensive mentality to stymie Purdue. But also I think this year, this is a little bit different Purdue team because they're, they address the athletic ability gap. And I think they're a better shooting team. And especially the way that they'll get here versus they, they won't get beat up as much. I think the teams that are coming from the East and West, they'll beat each other up. And by the time they get the chance, I'm going to stand up for Austin Orman in his absence. In the Duke, <laughs> well, well, well. Here's what. Here's here's why. Because then you get to 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 this space where sometimes talent you can't scheme your way through yeah. the the Sweet Sixteen in Grade Eight. You really just have yeah. to throw the ball out there and let dudes play. And all of these teams, all sixteen of these teams, have that capability. Yeah. But when you say depth. North Carolina, Duke, Arizona. Yeah. The mm-hmm. ones that you just go, ugh. Again? So many. Yeah. Like, oh, you got another dude? Yeah. And oh, they, this and ain't they, working. Here come another dude? That's yeah. why Arizona's a scary one for me if I'm those if I'm UConn. Because Arizona, they want to push and push and push and push that high tempo. Yeah. UConn, if they get caught, because that's kind of what they want to do, too. If they get caught playing that game and Arizona's hot, that's, yeah. that's an out for me. I just don't. And I'm, ne- them to slow it down and I'm never going to, to to push that team from Omaha into any of the conversations. I'm with you there. Creighton. Who? You won't you won't push them into the conversation? Who, <laughs> Who are you talking about? Hey, I gotta get they show some heart though. Who? Do you like their odds against the volunteers? I hope they get stuck. I would 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 they say in wrestling? I hope you get a uh, mud I think hole I think I think I think I think Creighton's gonna I think Creighton's gonna give them a little bit. I think Creighton, I like Creighton's I, I think Tennessee's gonna win. Right, but I think Creighton's going they're a little bit tougher than people give them credit for. Big man in the middle. Uh I was able to spend some time with him in uh Shireman this summer. They have a little bit more edge than Creighton's ever had. And uh but I think Tennessee is they just a problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hope their uniforms get lost. Yeah, they're, they're gonna show <laughs> and up. And they have play. to wear pink. I uh-huh. hope somebody throws a red sock in their white uniforms or and they have to go. Where are they like playing? Are they playing in Detroit? And to, yeah, that's what oof. Yeah. See, awesome. I'm all for that. Yeah. I'm so, all for that. I mean, I think it's going to be fun to watch. It's just going to be interesting to see. And the one thing about that's with all these teams, and whether you want to, since UConn's the defending, defending champion, you're going to be the first one to possibly defend since Florida. This is what makes UConn my favorite, is because they don't have a glaring weakness. And in order to, to, to win, you got to beat them. Mm-hmm. And the way that you beat them is you got to have really good guard play and you got to have somebody that has a night and, and you got to rebound with them. And, you know, I, I guess I probably over, you know, I overlooked Duke. I think if Duke gets through Houston, you can see them in the championship. <clears throat> but I think if Houston gets through Duke, <laughs> listen, Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not they, counting out that team just because Texas A&M. OT. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm just saying that the, the, the here's what Houston gives people problems. Like, big shout out to my man Ramon Ramon Walker. His son came in. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the teammate, <laughs> nice. right? He was he was asking where I was at. And I was like, I ain't make the trip to Memphis, my brother. <laughs> uh, but here's where Houston will pose problems: their guard play and their forward play will wear teams out. They blitz the Big Twelve this year. Which is a basketball. We're all in agreement. Yes, that's a basketball. The Houston just said, "Listen, I'm here. Thanks for coming to the party. We're gonna do our thing. Good night. God bless. See you next year." Um, the mono guards and the in the physicality that they that they're able to play and the pace that they're able to play it, it catches a lot of teams by surprise. You want a good example of pace and uh, intensity? Iowa State's defensive intensity against South Dakota State. South Dakota State's a, a dang good team. Liked mm-hmm. it. But even the coach said, listen, we don't see this as much. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it took them a little while. As they started to come back, then the Iowa State started to, you know, spread the gap. Mm-hmm. They're a sneaky good team. And I like, I mean, I think I'm excited for this Sweet 16 just because of contrast and style. San Diego State's under the radar. And you got to think, um, the big power forward for Arizona was at San Diego State last year. And San Diego State has his, like, twin brother there just doing a windmill dunk. So, look. You just there's going to be an upset. You just don't know who. What's your upset? I, I mean, 
I'm taking yeah. Arizona over UConn. That's mine. Ooh, okay. Okay. Uh, I think if I had to pick an upset, the way that they're playing right now, I'm gonna say the upset would be Clemson over Arizona. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. They're big, want, they, they looked good. Cle- yes, they're, they're, they're big yeah, can play. Hey, Clemson cold blooded. They just yeah. keep running them. They run a, like a, a mix between Cherokee Parks, uh, Christian Leitner, and uh, Ala Adenabi out there, and just keep running them. <laughs> just another, <laughs> yeah, yeah. another guy. <laughs> right. All of them look the same. Like, dang, you 6'10, got big old shoulders. Like, you just banging through guys. Clemson because of their guard play. Mm-hmm. Um, and they have kind of that guard forward is a, uh, that, that is really a, a, an X factor. That's probably. The Marquette pick is Fig- that's a good that's a good text. Marquette is still in play. They've been under the radar too. No yeah. one's been really talking about play. Marquette. And it's I'm gonna pick right now. I don't know what, what who 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 took a little tinkle in Mark Few's uh cornflakes in, in his frosted flakes. Gonzaga surprised me. They make it to the sweet sixteen all no, the time. No, but they but surprised forget. the way they beat Kansas. They beat Kansas like I'm beating you for just like what they call it called. <laughs> I'm beating you just for the past. Okay, <laughs> they beat the brakes off of Kansas. Yeah, like, I know mm-hmm. Kansas didn't have McCullers. That opened my eyes at Gonzaga. They, I thought it was a down year for them. You know, Timmy's gone, Hunter Styles is gone. They get that a lot, and, but and they got they got to win it. I mean, you yeah, look at all the champions. Yeah. If if you're being real, like if if you go just past since like 2010. The road to a national championship has unfortunately gone through the Zags. Yeah. Like they just can't break through. That's why you can't sleep on them, but you do feel weird getting them to the Elite Eight. Final yeah. Four, they, they just I, think, I think Purdue's a little bit, but I think if my main upset, if I had to pick one, is Clemson over Arizona. Mm. And it's not even a bad, you know, look on Arizona. It's just that Clemson is playing so good right now. There, I mean, everybody that's playing this weekend is legit. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, yeah. it, we don't feel like, like, you, there's some that, like North Carolina State would be considered a, a the low, out of all of them, they're but, probably sixteen, right? But but re, yeah, like if you reseed them, that's kind of where you would have them based on where they were seeded to begin with. But you're not surprised if they win the next two games, Mm-mm. not the way they're playing. No, you're not surprised. Look, they, they, it, they, it, we were talking about North Carolina as elite, got them. Talked about Duke as elite, got them. Yeah, they beat them all. <laughs> like okay, yeah. listen, you know, not for nothing, but they're legit. Mm-hmm. Return, re, re, return of the big man. Big Cadillac. He a big old Escalade. Escalade. X, he's Escalade yeah. XLT. Just yeah. extra large Escalade <laughs> yes. in the middle, man. Anyways, good segment. Jay Foreman, DP Harrison. We'll be right back. What's he on? He shorts out here? Okay. Uh, we'll be right back. You're listening to Old School with DP and Jay. Download the mobile app and listen wherever you are on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. A team succeeds when they work together. Banking's no different. At UBT, we're in your corner for every financial move you want to make. Your money's backed by a roster of experts who put in the work to know you and your community. So whether you're opening a savings account, buying a home, or planning your future, you always know who to turn to. Working together toward your financial goals, that's a win in our playbook. Union Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Hi, folks. Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC. And the Chevrolet and GMC Truck Month is now underway. We've got huge savings in Louisville. Get 9000 off or 1.9% for 72 months on select models. Yes, you heard right. That's 9000 off or 1.9% for 72 months happening right now at Koppel. So take that short money saving drive down 144th Street or check us out online at koppelcars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with proof credit. Stock number G21. You never think cancer will happen to you. I smoked for over 40 years. My doctor recommended that I get annual lung cancer screening. They were able to catch my cancer at stage one. It's never too late to quit. Even if you're still smoking, you need to ask your doctor about annual lung cancer screening. Just 30 minutes a year could save your life. Call the Nebraska Tobacco Quit Line, 1-800-QUIT-NOW, 1-800-784-8669. Paid for by Tobacco Free Nebraska. Aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Finally, a good reason to have a smart house. Just say, Alexa. 
play 93.7 The Ticket, and we'll magically start playing. How's it work? Nobody knows. Don't ask questions. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Problem gambling can destroy an individual's finances, relationships, physical, and mental health. If you are a loved one or struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Action Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electric is the call I make when I have a need for plumbing services. Whether it's for my home or office, if I need a repair to a water heater, softener, or even my garbage disposal, I know I can count on Action to help. In one simple call, their amazing customer service team promptly schedules a service call, often getting to my needs within a day. Action delivers honest quality services we can count on. To learn more, visit actionlincoln.com. Empower a child today with the Teammates Mentoring Program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the Teammates Mentoring Program today. At Parkview Animal Hospital in Lincoln, it's not just a professional care that sets them apart, but their warm staff and state-of-the-art facilities. Whether it's for a routine checkup or a comprehensive medical procedure, at Parkview, your pet isn't just another number, but a valued member of their caring family. Visit them at pahlincoln.com today and in person just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. Parkview Animal Hospital, your pet, our passion. For happier, healthier furry friends. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that first person. Weekday mornings at 7.30, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up Sipple. Two questions for you, two for Sip. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up Sipple. Weekday mornings at 7.30, brought to you by Bagels and Joe. Back to old school with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up? We're back, Jay Foreman, DP Harrison, on this Monday, chilly Monday. Uh, good two hours of radio, great two hours of wait radio. We got uh, one-on-one with DP next, always good to listen to on the way home and throughout the night. Got ticket weeknights to follow that as well, always uh, programming. And uh, like we mentioned before, we have student-athlete shows and plenty of shows uh, to keep you entertained and also uh, informative uh, throughout the week. Got a, got a good one. We got some good ones this week. Uh, Dave Turcott, uh, Canadian Olympian, basketball, mm-hmm. sports attorney, great family, good deal. Uh, we're also going to have Dr. Jamie Williams this week uh, to have some conversations. Megan Walker tonight. She's always got a guest. Yeah. It's always a surprise, but she'll bring out another typically student athlete or even coach sometimes as well. Chancellor like Brewington, Nori. There's um, nice way I realized three former Huskers back to back to back. You go from don't pawn hour with the morning Pierce and to Nuri to chance at Brewington. And they're not that far from the program. So it's really cool. You get to, you get to hear that kind of segue of what it looks like. And <coughs> again, it's those like small windows. So you kind of can sense the changes that happen between those three people while they're within the program. So that right there, those are good three hours, Tuesdays, yep. Wednesdays. Good stuff. Should be a good one tonight. Jay Foreman. Well done, bro. Hey man, it's always good. And uh stay warm out there, boy. That hawk is starting to pick up there. I see the little light. 35 degrees. But that, yeah, that's 25. There's wind chills out there. That when that thing is shaking over there, about to get below below 25. See, look, see that light thing over yep. there? Light post? Yep. Yeah, that's how you do that's how you that's that's the hawk meter. <laughs> <laughs> so he's figured it out. Yeah. Anyways, Jay Foreman, uh DP Harrison. We'll be back tomorrow. Appreciate you listening. Tune in to one on one with DP next. Uh, Old School is out. We'll holler at you.